Hey, welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. So real fast, I'm at the Regan station, but I also have some fiddler crabs that I've been keeping them alive for, I don't know, probably going on two months now. And uh, I got a little secret to show with you guys on how to keep these little guys alive. And you can do it too, in your own garage, in a little bucket, a big bucket. Um, this is gonna help you out, keep these guys alive. So if you don't use all of them, you know, you go out and you buy two dozen and you only end up using a dozen of them. Well, now you're gonna know how to keep them alive. Check it out. All right, here's my fiddler crabs. What's left over of them. I've had them for seriously going on two months. And I found the secret is that you have some salt water. So I get the salt water whenever I go out pier fishing or whenever I go out kayak fishing, I usually just grab a bucket of salt water from the ocean. And then I have some sand in there that I kind of swish around and clean out with some salt water and get it fresh. And then the big time secret is this stuff right here. Brine shrimp. I get this from the local pet store. I think I paid $9 for this container. It is half an ounce. So it's, it's pretty light stuff, but you get quite a bit in there. And this stuff, if you notice them, see them down there just chomping away at it. This guy right here, he's just going to town, digging it out of the, out of the sand. And I'm, I'm not kidding, like, this is about how much I use of it. Here's the inside of it. That's what it looks like. I take a little pinch. I just pinch it around them. Watch them. They go nuts. Oh dang! Look at them. Look at them scarfing that stuff down. And seriously, that's it. Just a little bit of fresh brine shrimp, some fresh salt water, change out their sand every once in a while, or clean out their sand every once in a while, just kind of swoosh it around and get all that nasty crap, all their feces and stuff out of there so that they're not dying from bacteria. Um, and that's it. I mean, you guys keep these guys alive, keep them alive for a long time. You can't really breed them in captivity. At least I don't think they figured out a way to do it yet, but if you guys have, if you guys know how to breed them in captivity, leave a comment below. Let me know. Let everybody else know. Thanks for watching.